hell is a barrel's popping? What's cracking? It's D. Blossy Rex. This Tozy vid is titled, This TikTok Challenge Ruined Their Lives. So, oh, surprise, surprise. Time and time again, people's lives have been ruined. Their real lives are being affected by them doing something on TikTok. The stupidity of it all. But let's see what's going on. Let's watch. This TikTok challenge is out there ruining people's lives because sadly in 2024, people don't think before they do a TikTok challenge. So what are they doing this time? Well, it's called the TikTok door kick challenge. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of like ding dong ditching as many of us grew up doing, unfortunately, except they got creative and they added some property damage into the mix because oh. why not? So it is what it is, I guess. African no, star, if you run full speed from the street at someone's door and jump kick it so not only are you That's damaging so the door in the frame but also waking and scaring the crap out of the people inside then on top of that, that this is also in happening in the u.s and because of our second i don't care if you don't still know you broke into my house you kicked down my door and as you kicking down my door you didn't jump in i'm sure you in the house if, if you running from way back there and coming and kicking the door in you're gonna be in my house at some point that's breaking and entering i'm pressing charge an amendment, this can quickly become quite the extreme sport for the person doing this challenge. And you don't right, only have to sure. worry about a potentially armed homeowner, but also the police, because obviously this is illegal. But that's not stopping this trend from being so big and viral. These pranks are now happening all over the U.S. And depending on what state you're based in, the range of your penalties can Exactly really what I'm thinking. There are so many charges. You're damaging their property. You're breaking and entering disturbing the people. There are many things you could be charged with. Very here, because some people are getting hit with like a basic criminal mischief charge and others with uh, breaking and entering. Exactly. Because surprise, Hello. surprise, I'm if you kick in someone's door at night, that's a charge. So let's play some of these clips because it's ridiculous. Doing this in the south. Oh, that was so loud. Yeah. The frame didn't like that one. That's so unnecessary. Because I mean like the ding dong this ditch, that's annoying. But this, this can ruin a family's monthly budget if they suddenly have to replace a front yeah, door. So the clip that we just saw happened in Silver Spring, Maryland, which is right outside DC. And this presents a safety hazard before they can even get the damn door fixed because their door is open. And it's like niggas gotta go to work and like, now you, you got to take off time from work because it's like, I can't leave and my door is open. People going to come and rob me. Like, this presents so many problems. As I said People previously, are. it is happening all over the states. So here we have some news coverage on it. I spoke to numerous people who live here in the Kensington Grove neighborhood. All of them told me they're angry that this even happened in the first place. And these teens need to think twice before kicking on someone's door. Idiots. They're just allowed. It's such a ridiculous trend. They tried to I mean, challenge. One solid, just loud thud. Chuck Kyle says on February 27th, around 6 o'clock at night, so he you, saw you and heard five teens kicking and banging on his neighbor's so snitch, door in the Kensington up. Grove neighborhood in Greenwood. He gave us this surveillance video, which he says showed the teens walking in the neighborhood moments before it happened. Saw my neighbor take off after him, so we kind of cut through the houses. I followed them, and he chased them. I don't know, three, four blocks away, across Stones Crossing, down to Mullinex, um, lost him in the woods, you know, called the cops. Um, they came and kind of took it from there. Johnson County Sheriff's officials say the suspects are between 13 and 14 years old. Prosecutor Lance Hayes. Come on, guys. Doing ...is all part of a viral TikTok challenge called the Door Kick Challenge, a new version of Ding Dong Ditch, except instead of ringing the doorbell, the participants bang and kick on the door and then run away. If kids think about this, they, they know that this is knucklehead behavior because common sense tells you this is going to terrify somebody and when you terrify somebody at their door there can be something happen back to you hamner says he has no tolerance for this and the juvenile's actions could carry serious consequences it's definitely a trespass it can be considered an attempted residential entry that's a felony and it's a serious situation and neighbors say teens need to keep that in mind before they take imagine ruining your life over it's a car challenge i mean it's happened but you know it's Play oh, stupid so games, dumb. win stupid prizes. I mean, yeah. somebody is going to get hurt. The five juveniles are expected to appear in court in the coming weeks, and Hamner expects to file juvenile charges later this week. In Johnson County, Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News. Oof. Come on, guys, let's not be this stupid. But, of course, it's also happening inside of college campuses as well. And, of course, the geniuses are filming it themselves. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Tell me, guys. 
semester for an education to then get expelled for property damage all for a tiktok challenge come on like what like it's more understandable seeing that behavior from like 13 to 15 year olds but from like college Ooh, students bro. really i'm also very aware of that uh, there's been plenty of college students arrested for the dumbest things possible but in a separate situation you had two teenagers arrested due to this ring camera footage and when they were found they admitted to doing this because of a TikTok challenge. So they were then arrested with four counts of burglary of a dwelling. So this TikTok challenge straight up ruined their lives, or at least made it way harder for them. Like, this is just so frustrating to watch because it's like, it's so easy to understand, hey, this is a really bad idea. This can have some very serious consequences, not only for yourself, but also others. Like, who wants to be scared in the middle of the night and then wake up to find a broken front door? which then needs to be replaced, which, you know, can range anywhere from like $400 to 2000 and upwards. Like, it's just so ridiculous. But that last incident we just talked about happened in Florida, hence the very strict charges. You don't mess around in Florida. That's anything yeah, that I've learned from just sitting here watching people doing stupid stuff for a living. The people who F around in Florida, they really find out. But this also happened in Idaho, good. where they warned if they were caught, because apparently they didn't find them, they would face years of probation and dozens of hours of community service. And the list just keeps going on because apparently this is a very viral trend happening all across the US. You also had three teens in Texas who were also caught doing this. And they were charged with criminal mischief and evading the police. So, wow, unexpected that Texas would be one of the lighter charges. I guess evading the police isn't really that light of a charge, but criminal mischief is pretty light compared to breaking and entering. Or burglary, that's what it was, it was a burglary charge. Come on guys, you should know better. And it is just like it sounds. People run up to doors, kick them as hard as they can, and then they- The, the shocking thing is just how many incidents there is of this. Like there's hundreds of these. Your reporter Anthony Johnson spoke to a woman in East Orange who has been a victim of the social media challenge. This has become a growing problem which appears to be part of a TikTok challenge showing people kicking the front doors of random homes and running away. Because it would make more sense if there was like a couple of incidents, but since there's hundreds of these, I'm shocked that there's this many people who do this. Right. Banging sounds like, like insanely loud. The police here in East Storage have put out an advisory warning residents this is an ongoing trend. There has been no official word on how many of these incidents have taken place. This is insane. And the fact that there's been hundreds and hundreds of cases, what? And he's like, oh, you know, I guess it's more understandable when they're 14 and 15. No, when I was 14, 15, I knew not to do something this idiotic. And it's like, what are you even getting out of it? <laughs> Cause you know, people do things they're not supposed to do all the time because they're getting something in return. It's fun or whatever. This doesn't even seem fun. Where's the, where's the fun in it all? You, you you run away before you even see what their reaction is anyway. Like, how is this fun? Being a menace? I don't get it. <laughs> Very stupid. Don't don't try this at home, kids. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!